<laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Pearly Gates and I am so thrilled to be here in London today with Barry. He's the most handsome man I've ever seen in my life. And not only that, I love him. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Live Well with Barry. This week we have the wonderful Pearly Gates. Hi. I need a kiss. <laughs> I need, in fact, I need another one. We're so French. How are you, man? <laughs> I am wonderful. All the better for seeing you. Looking as amazing as ever. Don't lie to me, Barry. I'm not lying. <laughs> you know I'm not lying. No, I'm not. <laughs> you know. Why did I say that? <laughs> Because you crazy. I, no, but I, that's nice because I'm saying, why did I say that? Because if you want the truth, you come to Barry. He's going to give you the truth. That's why I said that. That's why I said that. Oh, my God. You're looking amazing, girl. Oh, thank you so it. much. Love so it. do love you. It. Love it. Love it. Now, my first memory of you, even though you told me you only did one edition, is Celebrity Squares. White pantsuit. Wow. That's my first memory of you. Wow. Before I even knew who you were. Okay. And just was seeing this woman sitting in the box thinking, she is so fly. <laughs> I oh. mean. Well, I'm excited. Why didn't you uh, say something? <laughs> Well, I'm saying it now. Oh, it's too late now, for God heaven's <laughs> sakes, man. I'm a pensioner. You can't be saying things like I'm fly. <laughs> well, you're a flying pensioner. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> sounds, this sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> but when did you first come to England? Oh, my God. I arrived here at this time of the year. Okay. This should have made me leave. <laughs> I arrived here in 1968. Right, 1968. Yeah. yeah. And was it a commission that you came to do, or you just thought, you know what, let me hedge my bets and see what I can create? I came with my group, and we were called the Gypsies, and when we arrived in England, they didn't like the name Gypsies. So immediately I had to change my name, and I changed the name of the group to the Flirtations. So okay, that's... so the Gypsies were from the States. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. I'm from Alabama, Tuskegee, Alabama, and Ernestine and Shirley, originally from South Carolina, but I met them in New York. Okay, so you left Tuskegee, went to New York. What were you doing there? Tuskegee. Tuskegee. Yes, if Lionel Richie here, you say Tuskegee. <laughs> and that's how it should be pronounced because it's an American Indian tribe. They lived in Tuskegee. Yes, because I remember you telling Absolutely. me you're from the same place. Yeah. And, and yeah. Lionel Richie yeah. from the same place. So that's how. So you left there and yeah. went to New York. What were you doing? I. I, I couldn't type because I'm from a family of 10 sisters and brothers. And of course, we couldn't afford to pay for Spanish lessons in school. We couldn't afford to do a typing course in school. So I just did the normal stuff. And then one day someone discovered that I could, I, well, I discovered there was a singing group in school. But if you, if, if you didn't live on the right side of the tracks, that's a real saying. This is real. The right side of the track. You, yeah, nobody was trying to get you in. And, right. and then one day someone was walking down the hall and they heard us kind of singing and, and they stuck their head in the door and said, who's, who, who's singing? Who, whose voice is that? And it was moi. And of course, that's all he said. He just went away. And about three weeks later, I was walking past the, uh, the door of the civics teacher, and she said, excuse me, Billups. And I went, yeah, I don't take civics. So why is she calling me? <laughs> so she right. said, oh, I hope you don't mind, but someone tell me that you were a great singer, and my husband has a band, and he's always looking for great singers. Would you like to meet him? And I said, I would love to. Now I, now I gotta explain how I'm gonna get out of the house when my mother decided to say I'm gonna be working with a band of men, men musicians. So I went to see him and he loved what I did and um, 
And that was it. I, I was doing things like, once I had a secret love okay. that lived within yeah, the yeah. heart of me. That kind of singing that I was doing. And uh, what, uh, at, after doing that, I had a choice of going into the Air Force, uh, going uh, to New York. And I decided to go to New York. And doing what? Singing? I went to New York. I couldn't type. I couldn't do shorthand. Nothing. So when I went to the employment agency, the, the guy said to me, well, what can, I, he said, can you type? How many words you type a minute? I said, I don't type. You do shorthand. I said, I don't do shorthand. He said, he, and he was a, a relatively round man. <laughs> so he looked up from his desk and he said, well, what do what you do? What can you do? Exactly, <laughs> what can you do? I said, I can sing. <laughs> He said, "This is like a fairy tale." As you promise you, and he looked at me like, "Go and sit down. I'll call you." We went through the rest of the morning. They broke for lunch. They came back. They finished off the, the afternoon. I was still sitting there, and he went. And they used to do A, B, C, and alphabets, not one, two, and three. They went H, because I was there early that morning. And I went up. He said, "Come up here, please." He said. So you say you can sing? And I say, yes, I can. He said, well, I'm not promising you anything, but some friends I know have a restaurant called The Spice of Life in Woodmere, Long Island. That's in New York. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes they, they bring in uh, students from Columbia University to do 16, 16 parties and just play a few music and da, da, da. And uh, I'm not promising you anything, but I would like you Almost to go. Almost like he's angry with you. Yes, I'm not. <laughs> right. he, well, he didn't want to get my hopes up, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Turned out to be a pretty nice dude, really. So he said, so I'm just going to uh, send you out there. Do you, how, have you ridden the bus here before? I went, no. I said, but I'll try. He said, well, there's a straight bus that goes straight from Farrakha Ways to, to see to hers. I went, OK. So I went in, and the, the owner was an Italian guy. And his partner was Jewish. I thought, this is going to be great. <laughs> I, what do a country girl say at this point? Now I'm going, hi, I'm Viola. <laughs> they said, well, well I, we were told you could sing. And I went, yes, I, I, I sang. Because I was from the country, you know. So I sang. Yeah, I do. <laughs> and they said, OK, great. Well, I want you to know that if, if we take you on, you have to help out in the kitchen when we get very busy. I said, I can do anything. He looked. I said, just let me get, give me a try and see. So I had to, to do the bar mitzvahs, and I had to do, at night, I do a couple of jazz numbers. That's how I got started. Right. And then I met one of the flirtation sisters, the original lead singer of the flirtation of the gypsies, we were called, right. Betty Pierce, who was Ernestine and Shirley's right. sister. And that was it. So Ernestine and, and Shirley, Shirley are sisters? Yes. I didn't know that. Oh, absolutely. You see, to learn something new today, boy. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So we came here, and I, I was in New York uh, working the 20 grand with Billy Stewart. We were. And I had an I knew about the opportunity to come to England. Yeah. So I told the girls, and they weren't happy. And All they right. said, no, we're not going to go. And I said, I'm going to go without with you. Or without you. I'm going without you. I left Alabama. I turned down the university. I turned down the, the, the army. And I'm now going to go. Uh, and I'm see going. That opportunity. So, and that. that's and that's what I that's what I did. So we we finally got there, but they made us late because we missed the flight. You know, and back in the day, they had two flights to England. Yeah. One in the morning and one the last thing at night. Right. So we got there, and the guy said, "I'm sorry that you missed your flight." I said, "Well, I'm not leaving here. I'm staying. Can we get on?" He, he said, "Can I see your ticket?" So the tickets is eight. Well, you can go tomorrow morning. And there's a hotel around the corner. You can stay there. We didn't have money to get food, never mind the hotel. I said, I'm staying in this airport all night unless you throw me out because I'm not missing the flight. So being a nice gentleman, he knew that we didn't have no money. Yeah. So the next, we did that. 
We got the flight the next day, came to England. It was fantastic. I loved it. I just loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I went to, uh, and then my main thing was the Beatles. I loved the way that, that the hair cut because it was unusual. I loved the clothes they wore because it yeah, was nice. The clothes were shot. Yeah, suits. you know about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, sure. And I just loved it. We, we finished the tour. We was on our way to the airport. It was foggy. So back in the day, you know, it was foggy. They kind of ground flights. Yeah. And anyway, the driver said, well, you missed it now, so we have to just go tomorrow morning. You know, we get the next flight. We drove down Pall Mall. Oh, right. He said, well, I'm going to take you to see. Well, have you seen London? Because we were in the north of England. I said, no, we haven't. I said, I haven't seen anything I would love to see. When I drove down Pall Mall, I said, I'm going to live here. <laughs> and Shirley said, not with me, you're not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's Shirley. That's Shirley. <laughs> That is There's not gonna be a for me. I say, I'm gonna live here. I'm telling you guys right now, I'm gonna live here. And that was it. And I went so, away. But at least you convinced them to come because initially they were against it. Well, you know, we had a record out. We were the gypsies and we had a record out called Jerk It. I okay. had Barry Gordy had already approached the group. And, I, and, and with common sense, I knew it was because he thought we were brilliant. Yeah. And we were. <laughs> Sorry. Naturally. Naturally. And he said he would like us to come to Detroit. And I said, if we go to Detroit, he's going to sit us on the shelf. He's going to put us on the shelf and we'll never see the light of day. Mm. I said, I'd rather make it the on hard way yeah. on our own. Yeah. I said, if you stick with me, that's what we're going to do. So we did. We came and we was by ourselves. Can you imagine? You know, and you got to deal with three women. Yeah. I'm sorry, three black women? <laughs> you know, everybody got that enough. Ups the ante, and that ups the ante. Ante. <laughs> And then it gets even higher because they're two sisters. Yeah. yeah. So that was, you know. But we were very fortunate. We met Barry Marshall, who has, you know, martial arts now, who has yeah. Paul McCartney. He, he, they were the agent that brought all the major shows over. We toured with Gene Pitney, um, Neil Sedaka. Uh, just, just, just so many wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, artists that we had the pleasure of working with, and yeah, I loved it. And and we we did all that. We were very, very, very popular in Europe. Right. And and I loved that because the reason of leaving Alabama, I wanted some, I wanted variety in my life. Yeah. I knew there was something better for me, and I knew I couldn't get it staying But there. that's usually the reason people leave, wherever it is, because they think, well, you know what? I've outgrown what I can get here. Yeah. There isn't enough where I am mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. me. Yes. I need to get up <coughs> and explore other uh, things. Absolutely. And that was, that's a very good point, but the point was, I am now being thrown into a white environment yeah. where I'm leaving a white environment where I, I couldn't make that move. Yeah. I was, I was, you know, it was, that's what it was. And At the time. That's At what it time. was. Yeah. And, and, and my mama said, I don't raise no fools and whatever they throw at you, you give it back to them. Yeah. So you survive. And I came to England and, the, and it was just wonderful. I loved it. I just loved the way they spoke. I just love the fact that you could pull up, and that this is really funny, you could pull up at a, a petrol station at night and they would have these machines where you could get steak and kidney pie, hot steak and kidney pie. <laughs> you remember that? You put the money in, the steak and kidney pie comes out. I thought, should I died and gone to heaven? <laughs> I was so Simple true. things. Man. Simple things. You know, I'm a country girl. Less is more for me. Yeah. You know, it's not It's not how big the car is. It does it run. Well, yeah, because it's, when it's that, it's There's about a, practicality. Absolutely. It's about practicality. So then we were very lucky. We met somebody, and we were coming out of the foundation's office. Right. And these two producers were coming in, Bickerton and Waddington. And, and, and Wayne said, are you guys a sing are you singers? And I'm like, yes. He said, don't leave. Stay there. Don't leave. So that's how we got with Decca. Opportunities come from the strangest places. Absolutely. You don't always expect. Absolutely. Like you and I meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. OK. So, 
and, and, so it must this have, is a special one. It was, must have been the haircut, honey, that really uh, that attracted me to you. <laughs> anyway, so we went to Decca, and they said, we don't like the name. The Gypsies. They don't like the name. Diddy Logs. Yeah. Of, uh, I think they refer to Gypsies yeah, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. And I said, there's a mean? connotation to the name sure, Gypsies sure. in England. I said, why did, why, why? Uh, and then I thought, don't ask questions. Just get busy. Get a name. Yeah. And I don't like that name. <laughs> okay, now we got a problem, Houston. <laughs> Everybody don't like the name. Right. So, you know, you had to register the name. And they, they said, right. if you don't register this name in X amount of days, it's open to somebody else. If somebody has come up and said, we want that name, then they would have it. And, of course, I almost lost the name. So I won. Right. And then I won, yeah. It's yeah. a flirtation. Yes. I think it's quite a good name, really, because um, it makes you feel good. Yeah. So when you hit the stage, you got to be right. So tell me, how was it growing up? Ten brothers and sisters. Oh, wonderful. That's a full house. That was a full house. That's a full when house. When my mama in the house, everything was full <laughs> on. No, you know, it, I, I, people often ask that, and I say to them that, you know, I wouldn't have changed anything. Really? I wouldn't change anything in my life. Yeah. This is a very, it might sound very profound, but it's not, it's, it's a fact. We entertain ourselves. There were two brothers and two sisters, they sang gospel music. There were three girls, we sang, my baby whisper in me ear, oh sweet nothing. We yeah. sang, because that's all we could hear. Yeah. The black station, the frequency was so bad that right. it was cutting in and out, in and out, in and out. So we, I learned all the pop songs, white, country and western. Well, you know, in, in those days, it was pretty much the same in England. You only had the majors. Radio Luxembourg. And you had to, well, Radio Luxembourg and Radio Caroline were the yeah. ones that were the pirate stations on a boat out some, That's somewhere. That's right. And the reception went in and out, but they were the ones that were really playing Bring the it, cool the, music. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know? And I went on to be a DJ for Radio Luxembourg. Okay. <laughs> You learn something every, every day. Every day! From See, that's why these pe I invite these people, because their journey is so vast. Yes, I mean, it's, yeah, it's a good time. Too. So, uh, we're going back to getting here. So, we went with Decca. They loved us. We released Sounds Like the Flirtations, a fantastic album. And it was written, uh, all the songs were written by two songwriters, Waddington and Bickerton. Right. who now, I'm very thrilled to say, that we're in the process with Waddington, who really was the lyric the lyricist, yeah. on this project. He's, he's written for us 12 new tracks, so we have a new album coming out. Imagine that. Yeah. You're amazing. That's, yeah. that's why you're here, because it's the inspirational story. Yeah. However many decades on, four or five decades yeah. on, yeah. and you're still creating. Yeah. I, that's what's amazing. I, I think... I can speak for myself because I'm here tonight. I love what I do. When I'm on stage with the flirtations, we love what we do. You're alive. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and instead of retiring and thinking about retiring, we are thinking about, let's do that. that we got an album here. Yeah. The vocals are still good. Why not use them? Well, that's the thing. I mean, you've still got the talent. You've still got all the tools. Yeah. Why stop creating? Yeah, I agree. And it just shows that regardless what age you are or what stage you are in life, mm -hmm. you can always contribute to a positive day. Yeah. You can always contribute, however minuscule that offering is yeah. or however big it is. Yeah. But for as long as you've got breath yes. and the right attitude and mentality, yeah. which clearly you have, you can just keep contributing and keep creating to every day. Well, you know... This, this industry can, can give us a lot of setbacks, yeah. knockbacks, but it's also a lot of opportunities as well. Yeah. And uh, I am very, the, oh, just, just to be a singer is great. I love what I do. I love being on stage. I love it. I love it. I can't tell you enough how much you enjoyment it, it gives me. You just talking about okay? it. Like the spark in the eyes. Is the but thing. I also manage. I'm also in the manager side of the industry as well. And I work with 
where does the talent stop? I mean, it's just absurd, really. <laughs> I work with a lot of young artists, and I work with, uh, I manage Tito Jackson for Except America, the rest of the world, and I manage his sons, 3T. Okay, yeah. so you're still managing them now? Yeah. As yeah. well as recording an album? Absolutely. As well as touring? Absolutely. And then touring, oh my God. I'm, I'm uh, um, hosting the David Guest Tour. Right. Yes, which we start uh, our, our rehearsals the end of February, and we're, we're going to be touring just about the whole Who of the Who are the artists this time? Well. Because he always has just a, massive, a yeah. plethora of yeah. people, just yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, and we have the, we have we have uh, uh, Frida Payne. We have Dorothy Moore. We have um, Lee John. We have Junior. We have because um, oh, Denise Williams. Was Denise born. is there. Yeah. Kiki D is there. Yeah. Sheila Ferguson Kim is Weston there. Kim was one. Yeah, and 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 there will be a slight change sometime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At Liverpool, we might have Dorothy Moore, Lee John, Frida Payne, Gwen Dickey of Rolls Royce, da 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 da. Then maybe in the next night in Blackpool, we might have the other bunch of people. But who cares who's but on? There are a whole list is of amazing. names that are assigned yes. to yes. that franchise yeah. of the yeah. David Guest Tour. So yeah. you it's pick true. up five for this city, five for yeah. that city. Yeah. Yeah. So it's always fresh every yeah. time it goes yeah. to another city. Yeah. So I compare the show. That's my job. I sing one song. Yeah. I don't want to sing anymore. Well, you were good friends um, with David, so. Uh, for many years. Yeah, you were good How friends with you David. How do you know that? See, you I've know everything research. about me. I've done my research. Oh, it's so funny because when I met David Guest many years ago, I was, uh, my boyfriend was Mike Vernon, who produced Fleetwood Mac and all those people. And he said to me, I'm, I'm, and I was going to New York to, to record a couple of tracks with Byron Lee of the Dragoneers. The Dragoneers, yeah. Who, his wife, they, you know, they had dynamic sound. Jamaican Calypsonian yeah. guy, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Byron Lee. Yeah. Yeah. Byron Lee and the Dragoneers. Yeah. And so I went, I went to New York. He said, I said, he said, I said, who is this man you said is going to show me around LA? And he said, don't worry, he's a little, he's a little Jewish guy, little Jewish geezer <laughs> with a big natural. Well, when David turned up, he had the biggest afro, afro yeah. <laughs> the biggest afro. I just started laughing. We got on so well together, and we had, we, we, we were friends from till up until the minute we, he said goodbye to us. Yeah. You know. So yeah. how many years was that? Oh. oh. Well. <laughs> I'm sorry. He I mean, just, being only 20 I, I'm sorry. He just trying to ask me how old I am. <laughs> <laughs> that was a long time ago, and I'm yeah. 71 years old. You can Google me. You can find me anywhere on Now, life. look at this. Look closely. Who would believe it? Natural. I, natural. I'm sitting as close as this here. Trust me, it's natural. It's real. You're so kind. The hair is real. That. The skin is real. Yep. All of it. Yes. The age is really the real. The age is real. <laughs> the age is That's real. a shocking bit. Yes. <laughs> That's a shocking bit. Forget the hair. Forget the hair. Who cares about the hair? It's the age. Be 71. No, no, no. My mother used to always say to us, age is only a figure. Absolutely. And if so far, I'm in good nick. You are. You are. You're yes. doing well. You're doing I well. Said, you said <laughs> inspiration sister, <laughs> tell me about your inspiration. No, no, listen, you know, I think I am blessed because it, it takes a lot to make me angry. And I would say I don't tolerate fools, fools lightly. But I, I'm, I'm more of a giver in terms of making you happy than to make you sad. So if well, I come you into your life, I want, I want enjoyment for us, not you to take the mickey. I don't do that. Yeah, now. and it's also, I touched on this on one of my other shows. It's about when you are in a certain position, it's about not only what you get out of everything, yeah. it's about what other people get out of your yes, presence. Absolutely. And what you're leaving behind. Absolutely. And it's a question of whether you want to be the person that when you walk in the room, everyone goes, <sighs> 
Or when you walk in a room, everyone goes, oh, God, he's here. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's your well, choice which you want to yeah, be. You're, you're absolutely right. And I, did, I think I don't want to be the person that people go, <gasps> oh, yeah. oh, <gasps> oh, she's ah. No, I don't want that either. Yeah. And I don't want, oh, my God, she's here again. Yeah. I don't want that either. I just yeah. want people to just to be pleased that I'm there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just please that I'm there. I, just, I don't want. I don't ask for much more. I'm. I'm not greedy, really. Yeah, but as you said in the beginning, less is more. Yeah, less and is more. And you, you realize like sometimes coming from humble beginnings mm. is a great strength. It's mm. a great tool because you can flourish with mm. a lot mm -hmm. and you can flourish with a little. Mm. <laughs> absolutely, you know? absolutely. And you know, it's it's not about. It's really not about how much you have. It's what you, it's do, what you do with really? what you got, yeah. you know. And uh, make fifty pounds out of that five pound note. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's so yeah, life is good. I can't complain. I can't complain. I I I, I mean. I can complain that it's raining. I'm a black woman and my hair got wet. <laughs> but other than that, I don't complain. Well, that's how it really is. It's really a picture of positivity, and it shows, because I really do believe that what's going on inside yeah. shows on your face. Yes, uh, I agree. That's why yeah. the face is fresh and the eyes are bright, because inside. The heart is good. Yeah, you know? Yeah. So what have you got on the stove right now with your project? <clears throat> right now, we... I like as, that, on the stove. Yeah, I like that, on the Preparing. stove. Stirring. What yeah. are you stirring right now? What's right stirring, right now? stirring right in your kitchen? Yeah. Uh, in my kitchen right now, as I said, we're doing this album with fantastic songs. Yeah, 12 but, songs, you said. It's been, yeah. Have and, you started and, and, recording yet? Uh, we just got... All the tracks laid down. We, we, two weeks ago, Ernestine and I couldn't sing, it, and, and a lot of other people in this country, because there was a virus going around, right. and it's, it was horrendous. But God has been good. We're back on good form, and we're ready to record. We're going to do a couple of things before Christmas. Okay. Just after Christmas, I go to L.A. I go to L.A. Um, at, for about two weeks, and then I come back, and we will resume. Or right. maybe Ernie can just do lead vocals, and I'll just come back in and drop in. Well, drop that's in. the beauty of this recording How business. How have the industry changed for you, having been in it back then yeah. and now? What are the differences? The difference is that you, back then you knew your songs inside out when you went in the studio. Right. Because you didn't have all day. Yeah. You didn't have the, 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 the luxury of saying, I'm going to, well, I don't feel like it today and I'll do it next week. That doesn't work. Yeah, because the minute then. you pull off that, it's like, next. Somebody else, that's right. <laughs> you know, it was work, I was, when we were walking down, we spent our times walking them down Broadway. Yeah. That's why I first saw the Supremes. They had just come back from England. They were so excited. And, they, and, I, and, that, and that, of course, just made me say even more, I have to go. I'll go to England. OK, yeah. I have to go. I became very friendly with Mary Wilson, and we still are today, because I had the, the, the gumption to say, tell me about England. That's yeah. all I was interested in. Tell me about England. I love the suits the Beatles wore. I love the haircuts. I just love And so for, for a long time, I had my hair cut like that. Yeah. So when I started doing television, with the Cliff Richard show with the flirtations, we had that series with them. Twice we did it. And then, of course, I went on to be a regular on his show. I started out with that, with that bob, with that That's Beatles right. thing. That's right, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it was So great. it was the Cliff Richard show. Yeah. I'm like, what other things were you doing around that okay, time? Because uh, as I said, I remember you on TV for yeah, various yeah, things. Yeah. Well, uh, before I became a regular on television, there was, there were love, there was, um, was it Love Thy Neighbor? Was it called with Rudy? Oh yeah, Rudolph Walker. That was awful program. That was on that. That was on. I have to say that. And then that was me. Right. And I was on the BBC, and I, they were, I don't know what, I think it was ITV they were on. Yeah, I think. they were on ITV. Um, yeah. But when I first went to the BBC, um, they didn't have the right makeup. So naturally... Now, that's interesting. They didn't have... Tell the, me about that. They didn't have... I, w I, I went one day, because we were traveling with our own makeup, and because we were coming out of New York, where we had done the New York Apollo, well, you, you, were, you were in the mix with a lot of superstars that knew exactly what to do facially yeah. wise, you know? So I, I was sitting in a chair one day 
and I had I'd gone away from the flirtations because when I was in the flirtation, I did the makeup. Right, okay. I made, I, 90% of the clothes I designed, I did the makeup. I don't know, my sisters, from a family of 10 sisters and brothers, you learn a you lot. You learn how to sew, you, you learn how to You learn everything. a lot, so, and that was, it was really good for us. So we, we, we um, went to this, uh, I was in the makeup chair, and Dolly Alavi, it was a very, very, very famous Israeli singer, she walked past me and she went, hi, how are you? I said, I'm fine, thank you. She kept walking. <laughs> and about 10 minutes later, she walked past me again. She went, ah! <laughs> she said, go wash your face. Wash your face. He was, she was screaming, screaming. And of course, from that moment on, I said to the makeup lady, I will bring you the makeup that you should have in stock for people of my complexion, yeah. or darker, or lighter, but you don't have the right makeup for us. Yeah. And they, they allowed me to do it. They were, they were very, very appreciative. The same thing with the costume designers. You know, don't just give me anything. Yeah. I have, a, I have a coloring that certain things just don't work on me, so you just can't let me help you. I don't mind helping you. Yeah. Well, so, to help them is to help you because yes, you help them. Yeah. It helps you look good on screen yeah, and on camera, yeah, so you're helping yeah, yourself. Yeah, and it, but mostly it helped them too because they yeah. think, my God, the BBC got this right. Mm. It's not the black and white minstrel show because that's all they had, yeah. light entertainment, you know? And so that was great. I enjoyed that, and I was very, very, very lucky to be involved with a guy, a producer called David Bell, who went on to run ITV for a while. He adored me. He gave me opportunities. He let me taste the fruits of what success What's could be yeah. and what, po what was possible yeah. to be on television as a regular. So I did... Um, Punchlines. Yes, sir. Punch so I did two series of that. I did a series on, on ITV called High Summer. We did that. I did The Night of a Hundred Stars twice. Yes, I remember that. I did The Royal Performance twice. And of course, I did a lot of commercials with him. Do you know? <laughs> <laughs> you see when the memory comes back? The memory comes back. You see, when you get old, you forget some stuff, but it comes back eventually. <laughs> I went to do, I was asked to do a toothpaste commercial for Pepsi Dent toothpaste. Right. And when I went to shoot the commercial, there was a Canadian producer. And when I got there, I saw an English girl doing the same commercial. Hi. I'm so-and-so, so I would go, hi, I'm Pearly Gates, and I'd like to talk to you about whiteness. See, when I sing, I like to make sure that my teeth are white and beautiful. That's why I use Pepsi Dent toothpaste. Correct. It polishes my teeth while leaving my smile shiny white. Why don't you use Pepsi Dent yourself? And you can see that white can be beautiful too. Uh, I do. Then, I, then I sang, then you want to wear the yellow and when you brush your teeth with Pepsi Dent, right? So I go in. They, the, the director said, okay, cut. Let's, uh, who, who are you? Oh, wait, I'm Pearly Gates. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, okay. Pearly, just step in the, step on, step on, step, step there, and let's just see what's going on here. So I did the commercial. He went, why am I messing around? I could have been back in Canada today. Let's shoot this. And that was it. I got the commercial. Right. Yeah. So you went to audition, kind of, and then you got yeah, the commercial. I, yeah, they, 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 I was booked. Yeah. But they, they wanted the, they were hedging their bets. Ah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hedging their bets. And yeah. someone found the, uh, the commercial because back in the day you didn't have, you couldn't record things like it was. And when I get, when I wanted to get my uh, commercial from the. Uh, 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 agency, they they didn't have it. So I've had everybody. I had ITV hunting looking down, for it, hunting it down. For it, yeah. One guy, somebody had it. Okay. And it was on 
on Facebook, and it was fabulous. I was like thrilled to see it. It was really great. Well, you yeah. remember the words word for word. Absolutely. <laughs> you don't forget something like that. And then I was walking down the street because it was very popular in the Leewood Isles and in that part of the Caribbean. Yeah. And I was walking down the street one day, and a couple of people were walking in front in front of me were coming toward each other, and they went, oh my God, he's Harley Kings. I thought, somebody recognized me. And then, oh, and yeah. I, I, no, 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 here in England. I went, someone recognized me. I was so excited. They said, you're Harley Kings. You did that commercial. I said, where are you from? They said, the Leewood Isles. Yeah. They said, we love you. We love that commercial. So that was nice. It's really nice. It is. Yeah. It's great to talk to you. It's my pleasure to talk to Great you. Great to talk to you. Yeah. So, we've got <clears throat> albums recording, yep. tours going yep. on, and we're still managing. Yes. Tell me about the managing. Pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> to the point. To the point. To the point. To the point. Listen, I managed my group, The Flirtations, when I was with them. Until I left, I, I managed them all. And in 1996, I, I came back, and we, they came to visit me in my house, and we were sitting around the table. I said, what are you guys doing? They said, well, I, don't I said, but we got we to get back and go to work. Right. It was music to their ears. And so, so they wanted to get back <coughs> to work as well. Of course. They had gone through five girls. Right. Yeah. It wasn't easy. Yeah. It's not easy working with two sisters. Yeah. Because you But it's not even easy working with a group of people. Absolutely, while, but then it makes it more tricky when you have Yeah. That's blood. Got a bond. That's blood. That's a bond that can't yeah. be broken. And I don't want to break anybody's bond. I'm too tired. <laughs> so breaking bonds is not what I do too well. But we got in there and we did it and we decided to bring it to the next level and yeah. And we, and but we listen, you kept it working from 1960 whenever to where we yeah. are now and you're yeah. still touring, still recording. And we're still touring and still, and still in demand. I think you're as much a sister as they are. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're well, as much a sister now as they are. So sister. Yeah, <laughs> you're as much a sister really from yeah. another mother as this. Yes! But you know, you're as much Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's good. It's good to be back in the so studio still, with them. So you're still managing the bands with the guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you know, I, I just do Europe and the rest of the world. Right. I don't do America. Okay. I don't, I don't want to be going to America. Well, Europe and the rest of the world is pretty <laughs> full on. That is full on. So I'm doing that. And you know, life has been so good to me. I really want to, I want to chill. I said to someone, the other day, and exactly what you said, it's so, it's so, so important that you're still traveling and you're still working. Yes, I've seen the world. If I show you my passports, you would be <laughs> very confused. I want to now just buy a first class ticket and go around the world while the world is still standing, because right now we're very fragile. Oh, we're very fragile. So I want to go around the world and just and be a tourist, because right, not working, not all the time. Enough, if yeah. you couldn't eat too much, I'm, I'm, I'm very, I'm very, I'm not lucky. I'm, I, I'm, I am lucky that I didn't acquire the drink yeah. when I was young. So that yes. never has been a problem. problem but yeah. one had to be very careful about what you ha would have to eat yeah. when you're on tour, because you can't afford to go on stage five nights in and you can't get in your dress. <laughs> Not a good, that's very not easy a to good do. picture. Yeah, that's very easy. To so do. then I just, so I want to now go around the world. That's my, that's that's my thing. First class ticket around the world, be picked up. I feel still feel like I'm working, but the only difference is I can eat whatever I want. <laughs> yeah, a little more relaxed. Yes, that's what relaxed. I want to do. Yeah. So that's not asking a lot, is it? No, you're a busy girl. Absolutely. I, I like to say girl. I know she's a lady, but you know. I like girl. I like, I like, girl. I like girl. No, you're a busy girl. Yeah. What does this busy girl do to look after herself and keep her equilibrium with all the madness going on, the touring, the recording, the yeah. managing, do bands yeah. and the traveling. What do you actually do to look after Pearly? I laugh a lot. This is true. I <laughs> laugh a lot. I laugh a lot. I, I eat well. Yeah. I, I, I do nothing in excess. Yeah. Um, I'm just happy every day. When it rains in this country, I'm happy. 
Yeah. If it's sunshine, if it snows, I'm happy. I'm, I try to find happiness everywhere I go. And that's, that's what the keeps me. Mm. And that mm. keeps you up. Yes, absolutely. You know, the people that are moaning and complaining. I can't stand a moaner. Grumbling and it's like, well, that's not doing you any good. Yeah. And it's not doing anyone any yeah. good that's around yeah. you. Yeah. So just yeah. stop it and yeah. get on with what you've got yeah. and make it work. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's a pleasure to have you. It's a pleasure to still be here. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Thank mm. you. Another oh. kiss. Another I kiss. Love that. Oh. Thank you for joining us, guys, and look forward to next week's episode. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Thank you.